Hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't know how to start with you here. I never know how to start anyway. I have another. Okay, what's up? Hello, welcome back. That's very rude. <laughs> So we're here to do the makeup new releases for the week, but I have a special guest. Hi! This is my fiance, Jordan, and he likes to bitch about makeup. So I thought it would be funny to include him in this so that he can bitch about makeup. He has his own bingo card that he's yes. going to use. It's um, very pessimistic is the best way I can explain it. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, no, are you sure? <laughs> So he's gonna he's gonna bash things, and I'm gonna try to stay somewhat positive as a way to equalize that. But you know, I know what's been coming out this week because I've been the one like like tallying, like saving posts so that I can, you know, show them here. But he hasn't seen anything, so he's gonna have like a true first. It's all new reaction. to me. Oh yeah. Also, he's the editor, so if you see messages that say things, that's him. That's me. Inserting pictures I don't want you to insert. That's not my fault. I don't know who did that. <laughs> Was it that those those are not me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So yeah, makeup releases for the week. Let's go. Link 14. Alright, so All the right. first item for the week is from Pharmacy Beauty. They've released a new scent for their makeup melting um what's the actual name of this? The makeup makeup melt away cleansing balm. So I don't know what scent the previous one had, but now they made a sweet apple scent. So, you know, that sounds yummy. <laughs> Are you supposed to eat this? No, you're not supposed to eat it. So you, you spread it on your face and it melts your makeup, makeup away. Wait, why? <laughs> Isn't that so, the opposite of like the whole point of makeup? <laughs> Well, it's when you remove it. Oh. So, um, you, it's like a. So it's it's like, like washing your face, but gross. Uh, Got it. Okay. Well, you would use this as like a first step. So you would like use this, and it's like an oil, and it would like remove most of your makeup, and then you would like wash your face again with something not oily. So like make sure everything's gone. And your face cloth gets all oily. Uh, if you use a face cloth, yes. Yeah. Or you can just like use your hands. Oh, okay, that's strange. I don't like this already. <laughs> yeah, this it, you would hate this because it'd be super oily. Um, but like I've never used a cleansing balm. I usually use um, uh, my salad water before using my actual like normal face soap thing. Um, but uh, it smells like apples. I'd be curious to try that. I'd be curious to taste it. Oh, you should probably not taste that. <laughs> So it's available at Sephora for uh, 34 US dollars. What? This fits so many categories on my bingo card yeah, already. I know. It's how much? <laughs> it's um, like a tiny little cake. Like, well, how many? How much is there on there? Can I get a picture that it shows that? Oh, 100 mils. There's 100 mils. Of what? That. <laughs> this picture is of 100 mils. I don't know if 34 is for 34 bucks is for the 100 mil one. It has to be. I hope so, just no. so that you scream at it. <laughs> that's that's insanity. So, um, if you like their your, their um normal one, then chances are you're gonna like that. If you like the scent of apples, um, that sounds more enticing to me than whatever the other one had. I'm not even sure if they had a scent. To be honest, I think it just smelled like it's just oil, you know, chemicals or something. I don't know if the they had a scent. The apple one, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what the original is supposed to smell like and also apparently they made ice cream to go with it what yeah oh uh, we need to get the ice cream <laughs> screenshot that ice cream <laughs> we need it <laughs> i want ice cream that says it's from a pharmacy on it <laughs> yeah i guess they did a collaboration with like a um an ice cream like company and it's a limited edition sweet apple ice cream well it's Tastes a non just like the goop it's <laughs> and a fifth of the price it's a non-dairy frozen dessert sorry made with oat milk so it's not like it's not even ice cream it's not really yeah, ice cream. Right, I don't want it. Uh, that's what i thought the color of this looks like really interesting because it looks like pink on the 
like on top and then when you dig into it it looks like orange i would love to like play with this like in person just, just what no anyway no i i don't i don't use cleansing blondes but i would definitely try this one just for the sweet apple scent so on my bingo card i am going to put this under uh that's expensive no because there's worse there's worse than that? Yeah. Oh my God. So like, I, I don't actually think I have a place for this on my bingo card. Are we going to do it so that if you have a bingo that we, we stop? Do? Yeah, I think whoever gets to bingo first. All right, cool. So I don't I don't have anything for mine. I have so many. <laughs> so we can pick between you goopy, because that looks goopy as fuck. <laughs> we could go with... Uh, it's how much? Because that's how much. That's literally my response that, when you said that. That so is true. That's one. Uh, this isn't even makeup. Is true. Another one. True. And um, no, those three. That's probably okay. So, which one do you think? Uh, it's your bangle card. I'm gonna go with you, Goopy. Oh, it's not even that Goopy. It looks goopy. It's oil. That's goopy. Have you ever tried like touching coconut oil? Like solid coconut oil? Like when it immediately starts yeah, melting very in your goopy. hands? No, okay. All right. So he's going to go with like goopy. That. I don't like goopy things. Fun fact, um, bringing Jordan to Safar is really funny because he thinks that everything is goopy. Everything is goopy. And he hates anything that is goopy. So so far as like a, a, a worse like nightmare kind of situation, and it's hilarious. <laughs> I, it's not fun for me. It's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, cool. We're almost out of bingo. No, 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 no. <laughs> you and your fucking free space. You're I have not a free allowed, space. You're not allowed a free space. No. We'll see. Okay, so our next product is from ColourPop. Uh, ColourPop releases stuff like. Every week. Yeah, you, you, yeah, I yeah. edit the videos. <laughs> We've only edited two. Yeah, and every week there's a clip. Of <laughs> so this week they released some quads, um, just some eyeshadow quads. I, I don't. Yeah, the the only thing that I would see this being good for is like somebody who's starting off in makeup and want to try like the color pop thing like i i have all these colors so i don't want this in a quad this is that's one of my spaces michelle has this already <laughs> so like i i got the animal crossing quads because it's animal crossing but like i don't feel the need to buy a color pop quad when i already have all these colors like a billion times over um if somebody was like traveling a lot, I could see that being useful because it's like very small and compact. Mm -hmm. And like you see, bring seen, it on an airplane. Yeah, <laughs> you've seen how big all my palettes are. It'd be really awkward to travel with. True. Yes. But, um, yeah. Look at the size. This is bigger than my head, and upside down. Nope. Yes, bigger than my. Head. <laughs> so if I had. Like just like that kind of size for stuff, then obviously it'd be an issue and I would maybe like a quad like this, but like I don't I feel like a lot of people already have this. But it'd be good for somebody who's just starting off. But look at these colors, they're like It's all brown. That's another one of my things. And then they have like a more pinky one. Well, that is pink. And then they have a more coral yeah, one. That's not brown. I'll give and then them that. they have like a warmer brown one, a little lighter, and then that looks very similar to the last one. Yeah, a bit more red, golden. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not excited about this, but I could see people like enjoying it, but I don't think it's like amazing or anything. Uh, how much are they each? $9 each. That seems reasonable compared to a $40 group thing. I put it under. Pretty sure Michelle has this already. Because you literally <laughs> said, I have this already. Well, it's, And you were I, like, they're new releases. I'm not going to have them. Lies. No, but it's <laughs> not. I don't have this exact thing. But I, I have like similar enough colors that I don't care about getting it. You have this already. Um. So, yeah, I'm probably going to put this under boring. Because it's, it's 
it, it's a really boring thing. Like, Colourpop has so many eyeshadows. Like, if it was a company that didn't have any eyeshadows and they were releasing quads, like, it would make sense. But Colourpop already has, like, a... Like, I, I can't even count how many eyeshadow palettes they have. So I don't feel like they need more in quads. No, they, they have way more than that. <laughs> you release one like every week. <laughs> True. At least 52. Uh, yeah, more than that probably. That's the worst part. Um, so yeah, this is boring to me. So it's going to go on boring. Okay, so it's another ColourPop release for this one. Like, I mean, I, I guess this could have been like combined, but I, I the way I do things is that every post that I see on Shred Mood or Beauty News or anything like that, I save it. And then I randomly pick one with a randomizer. So it just happened that these posts were like done separately. So that's why it popped up on different things. So it's fine, whatever, it's fine. So it's gonna be another color pop release. You're gonna hate it, it's gonna be great. <laughs> but you hate everything, so it's, it's fine. I hate, I hate most, most things makeup, yeah. Yeah. But I love you. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> so our next thing is from ColourPop again. And uh, I'm unsure about what's going on here. So it looks like there's a new mascara called Act Natural. So it looks like it's supposed to be just a very natural looking um, lash look available in black and brown. And then they have some uh, eyeshadow sticks. I feel like the first time they came out with those was what like with a specific collection, but I guess they've made new shades for it. Um, it says uh, eyeshadow in a stick that glides on easy and blends like a dream. This new product was introduced first in the Limon Limoncello collection, and now there's there are eight men and eight metallic shades. There you go. Okay, so the mascara looks like kind of whatever. Looks like it would definitely do like a natural look thing. Oh yeah. Ooh. Wouldn't a natural look just be no mascara? Well, for some people that they have like really really lightly colored lashes and they want their lashes to they don't want them to be thick or anything they just want them to be black oh i see yeah this so. is just for men eyelashes but it's not for, gonna for tit, women. it's not gonna tit them <laughs> but this is what it looks like is the picture that's on here um makes it look like it does it does absolutely nothing for lashes except for like putting a color on them and then the eyeshadow sticks look like ash eyeshadow sticks like but they made the they made the packages all beige. Yep. Yeah, they did. So you can't even tell what color. Like, is it just like a random? I can't see if there's anything that or like. Does it come with like a pool of wax under each one? Well, <laughs> I there's no picture that shows that. Um, but like they do have um. They had like like their eyeliners, their old style uh, eyeliners were like all white, oh. but then they have like a tip color so yeah. it might be a similar situation for this yes but it, it, there's no picture of it so we're, we'll never know probably on the caps the caps are like the bottom i feel like the bottom makes more sense because then the caps then could, just yeah, switch the caps yeah, on you there we go yep <laughs> um so like if you like i should have six and great they're inexpensive probably because it's color pop um, so anyway, they have cute colors, but like it's eyeshadow sticks, it's kind of whatever. Um, they have like a mint green metallic that's kind of cute. And then that like teal color up there is kind of cute. Uh, like that blue, it's kind of a smoky blue, like, but I, I wouldn't have any use for this at all. I like powders more anyway, but hey, it's a thing. And I like my mascaras to do more than just, um, tint my lashes. I like to get something out of it, so. Not interesting to me. Um, this is new for me because I don't know this this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the mascara, that's a stupid idea. <laughs> it's just like temporary hair dye for your eyes. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and the crayons are crayons, you know? So I, I had, I had a space called Crayola Club for, uh, you know, lots of colors. Uh -huh. but these are literally crayons, so that's what mine's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, fair. All right. Yeah, they were like crayons that you just like smooth all over your eye. Yeah, just yeah. like kindergarten all over again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you poor soul. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So for me, I'm gonna put this under. I'm gonna put this under so basic because this is like as basic as it goes for a release. Yeah, it's even hard to complain about. Yeah, it's just like, it's just like whatever. It's there. Yeah. So so basic. Okay, great. I agree. Oh, nice. Thank you for agreeing with me. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so. <laughs> What am I looking at? <laughs> okay, so the, our next product is from, bear with me here, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but Hermes? Her, Hermes? Hermes? Hermes. Her, Hermes. You're the French one. Hermes? Hermes? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so this is sold at Nordstrom, which is not a store that we have access to here. But I wanted to talk about it because this made me angry. So, <laughs> um, so this is the new Rose Hermes Silky Blush Powder. So it's a blush. Yeah. Yes, you, you go and blush. Um, a blush with a semi-matte finish embossed with texture resembling silk twill. I'm sorry, what? Pretty, whatever. Fine, silky, long-lasting powder with from a for a luminous, radiant complexion, ultralight pigmented texture can be refilled by simply removing and replacing its powder pan. So it's kind of nice that it's refillable, so that way you don't have to rebuy like the outside packaging. Yeah. So that's nice. Um, cuts on waste too. Yep. But um, here's here's okay. So the colors for this are actually really really pretty. I really like some of these shades. Um, you know they're not going to be great for all skin tones. This is for like ghost and fair, and that's pretty much it. Um, but the reason why this made me angry and the reason why I'm excited to tell you this is because one of these is $77 US. I'm sorry, is what? <laughs> one of them? One not, of them. not the collection of eight or whatever? No. So it says that the, the it says it's an a, in a round case, an off-center mirror, an off-center mirror, what the fuck? What? A disc of white and gold designed by Pierre Hardy, 77 each in eight shades. What the? <laughs> so that's And also they're all the same color. So I mean, It's not the same color, though. They look There's pretty more, similar. The, the one in the upper corner is more orange than the ones in the bottom corner. It, all, more... it looks all pink. Also, that's another thing for Georgia. Everything's the same color. <laughs> so it looks like the same colors as an anus. So all of them. Oh god. So they do have like really pretty um colors. I find like the 61 rose fur is really pretty and uh, rose apricot is really pretty and rose ombre is really pretty, but you will not catch me dead buying a blush for $77. Ooh, and that's, that's in good. US money. Yeah. So that's like and this is the this is the imprint that they say resembles silk twill. What? <laughs> so it just, it literally just looks like a normal, like, imprint in, in, in a powder. It doesn't look super special. The compact is really pretty, but, like, still not. I wouldn't spend $77. Well, it was designed by Pierre Hardy. <laughs> yeah. Well, They're show No, me neither. You're showing it on the, like, on the darker skin model, but, like, I'm sure they must have packed it on or something, because, like, th these colors look, they all look, for like, super fair. Um... So, you know, great. Looks looks pretty. Ain't spending $77 on that. So that's going under that's expensive. I already know that. Because I'm not I'm not dealing with that. And mine is it's how much? Yeah, because that's exactly your reaction you have. Yeah. <laughs> so why, why is it so expensive? So um this this brand is like a very prestige brand. And I'm pretty sure they make like clothes too, I think. I think there might be like, it's like the same thing can... as like Louis Vuitton that makes makeup, but they originally started off making shoes. But um, all their stuff's gonna be super expensive because it's like that kind of like interesting. feel. It's all like prestigious and stuff like that. So, you know, the packaging is usually really pretty, but the quality inside isn't always great. And then you pay $77 for a blush. US. Yeah. So that's ridiculous. Canadian would be stupid. So um, yeah, that's expensive. Yeah, <laughs> sure is. So I'm glad we got this one. Okay, next. So our next product is from iHeart Revolution. Uh, they launched a new collection with Disney. <laughs> they launched a new 
a collaboration with Disney, and it's with Mary from the Aristo Aristocats. I love the Aristocats. So there's it's... an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter, uh, not three shades of highlighter, pardon me, uh, three shades of lip gloss, a mirror, a paw brush, and lashes. Um, I mean, the highlighters look cute, just pop right in it. The packaging all looks absolutely adorable. The lashes look decent. I'm okay with the de the fucking brush. It looks like a kid. Oh, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> these ones win. This is. This <laughs> I like this one. So the brush is. I don't know how like usable this brush would be, but it's really cute. It looks like toe beads. It does look like toe beads. Um, the compact mirror also has like a paw print. The eyeshadow palette has like the. Um, like embossed paw print all up in there. The colors are kind of like whatever. There's a lot of lots of pinks because it fits with like the character and stuff. But so the lip glosses look like there might be like a clear one, a pinky one, and a more reddish one. The lashes look pretty. Um the um eyeshadow palette looks like, you know, it's the eyeshadow palette doesn't like scream to me like, oh I want it or anything like that, but it's like I Heart Revolution is very inexpensive. The eyeshadow palette is fifteen euros. No, nope, excuse me, it's fifteen pounds. Yes. Um, so like it's not like super expensive. So even if you're not like a huge fan of the color, but the packaging and like the theme of it is super up your alley, then I don't think you're you'd be like super disappointed. Like the quality won't be like great, but again, it's not like it's ex it's expensive. Um, the highlighters look like kind of whatever. I'm not super impressed by the highlighters. But it's cute. It's cute. Is it cute? Everybody wants to be a cat. That's what it was. <laughs> Those are the words. Yeah, right. I like it. Um, and it's not expensive because I've paid more than 15 pounds for a beer in London once. Oh, there you go. Really? It was a very fancy place. I don't oh, know okay. if it was a beer or like a cocktail. It might have been like a fancy cocktail, but it was still like... 17 pounds and i was like i'm sorry like, <laughs> it was too late i already ordered it mm. yeah so yeah like you know eyeliner highlighter is five pounds lip gloss five pound five pounds mirrors five pounds the brush is eight pounds lashes are eight pounds so like you know unex not expensive it's really cute i like how they went different with it and they didn't stick with like a princess or something it's really cute so i'm a fan i'm a fan does any does it say um, if you want to be a cat to buy it? Everybody wants to be a cat. No. Oh man. Well, I'm still gonna put it under. I like it. Okay, I like this one. Wow. Didn't think we'd like get that at all. Yeah. Cool. I like Aristocats. I'm gonna go for Nostalgia Train because. Um, like, they're obviously, like, trying to get you, like, if you were a huge fan of these Bristol Cats, and you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I want this. So I feel like this is a nostalgia train thing. And if it was, like, a really, really expensive thing, then Cash Grab collab would probably make more sense. But I'm going to go for a nostalgia train. Yeah, it's train. not expensive. Yeah, so I'm going to go on nostalgia train. I, I Heart Revolution is a, um, is a company that doesn't do very expensive makeup, but they are not the best quality. But at least you're getting, like, it, it, it sucks when you buy something expensive and it's shit quality over something cheap that isn't great. Like, at least you get what you pay They for. made a toe bean brush. They do. They did make a toe bean brush. You should That's... get the toe bean one. <laughs> Every uh, time you brush your face, you'll be like, it's a little toe beans. <laughs> they, it's sold on revolutionbeauty.com. So we'll have to go look at that, I guess. So our next um, products, because this is a, a few products in one post, um, they're all under the Huda Beauty umbrella. We've got one thing from Wishful and then one thing from Huda Beauty. Um, so the Wishful product is called the Yoglo Tropical Fruit Enzyme Scrub. So it's, um, I'm pretty sure they have this product already, but this one is a limited edition because it is... Uh, a scent of tropical fruits and flowers all wrapped up in the special packaging, but it's the same um, the same kind of thing as their original Yoglo enzyme scrub. So, and then the next thing is the 
Uh, oh, that one upsets me. Okay, so the next one is actually like Huda, and it's the Baby Bake Mini Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder for $19, probably US, in five shades. And it looks like it's their setting powder, but like in a small, like smaller, like almost like travel size packaging with a big old sponge on top. I don't get this one. It's made for babies. Can you read it? <laughs> you probably don't want to put that on baby's face. Or is face. it made out of babies? Oh God, don't even. <laughs> 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 so they also have a Jumbo Heart Powder Puff for $25. That's a freaking heart-shaped powder puff. It's pink. I don't really care. I thought that was a throw pillow. I also thought it was a throw pillow. <laughs> they make You're it supposed really to make it like... Like to put on your face? Yeah, so you would like use a. I have a powder puff, but not not this one. Oh, it's in my box over here. In the next video. So you you take a powder puff and you like dunk it in powder and then you use that to put the powder on your face. Yeah, like an old lady from the 1800s. Yes. Yeah, with the powder rooms. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. But they made a throw pillow. It, it does look like a throw pillow, actually. It, yeah. We have a blanket that looks the exact like same fuzziness as yeah. this. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I really don't get the um, Baby Bake uh, Loose Setting Powder because it looks like it's exactly the same thing as the original, just in the travel size. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, I guess if you really like that powder and you don't want to like travel with the big one, then yeah, you get the small one. Or like if you want to try it out without buying the big tub, it it, it would give you a like. It will allow you to try it without spending the cash for like the big tub. But like, I don't know. I feel like I'd be more interested in this if they'd remove the scent in in the powder. Apparently the powder smells extremely strong of perfume. They perfume the babies first? <laughs> ah, there's no babies. <laughs> It said baby bake. I think they even told us how they did it. And the shades are banana bread, blondie, kunafa, pound cake, and coffee cake. These poor there's... blonde babies. Uh, Isn't that only four? Yeah, there's only four shades in the list, but there's apparently five shades. So I'm wondering. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, the new products are basically just the old products, but with new scent or a new size. So it's not really interesting at all. So that's, that's what that is. Thoughts? Um. No, there's, don't talk about babies. The throw pillow looks comfy. <laughs> Yeah, but it's probably like super small. It says it's jumbo, but it's probably not like pillow size. I don't know. It looked like it was on a couch. It did look like it was on a couch, but probably just make it more look like a pillow. That's strange. I want to know how big it really is. Yeah, I, I kind of know too. We have a Huda section at Sephora, so maybe it'll, hopefully they'll it'll show up. Do I have three yeah. pillows? I don't, like know. A big, I, don't, big couch? I don't know if they will. <laughs> I'm just excited if they get a couch. They probably would get a couch. Somewhere for me to sit while you roam the store. <laughs> So on my um, bingo card, I am going to put this under, so I'm going to put this under, no one asked for this, because I feel like no one asked for this. Oof. What uh, people did ask was for her to remove the scent out of her products. This is why I've never tried Huda Beauty, like, except for like eyeshadows or something like that, because I heard that everything else smells absolutely terrible. I think, I think the throw pillow earns the what the fuck. <laughs> All right, fair. It's just a throw pillow that they're like, use this on your face. <laughs> I kind of want to see like how big it is. Like, I'm guessing it's like throw pillow size. But... <laughs> Can you imagine just dunking a whole tub of powder on there and it's just going, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's what they should do. That's the commercial. <laughs> they just pick it up off the couch and put it on a table and just like, <laughs> 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 Powder and everywhere. Like, it's like a cloud. <laughs> and a person comes back up and their hair is white and like <laughs> They can have that one for free. <laughs> there you go, you Huda. Yeah, make the commercial. We got you. 
<laughs> we wrote it, you produce it. <laughs> so our next product is from VizArt. It's a new uh, collection. It looks like it includes a an eyeshadow palette and a... Is, is there a new lip thing or is it just a palette? Uh, I think it's just a palette. There's a lip thing in the picture. There is a lip thing in the picture, but uh, the description only talks about the palette. So, yeah. so this is a um, new addition to their range. Um, they have these palettes in all sorts of different sizes. Um, this looks like not like the smallest one, but the like a little bit bigger than the smallest one. I don't know like what they actually mean these. Uh, this one's called the Soleil La Plage Étendue. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Very uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so it then they have like a super long paragraph about sun and beach and things. So twelve shadows um, for forty four dollars US. Is it called a sun of a beach? No, you no, said it was in French. Yeah, so it's sun beach. It's uh, sun of a beach, but in it, French. It, no, <laughs> it. Are you sure? Yes! Because that's a pretty funny pun. It, they're just making a beachy and shit for summer. So this color this color scheme is like, okay. Um, but if you like block out that like teal blue thing, it just looks like any other palette that you've seen on online. So the, it's just like a yellow, warm, orange with a pop of blue. It kind of reminds me of the Limoncello, Limoncello collection from... Colourpop, you haven't seen that one because it came out before Yes, I know started. exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Actually, let me see if I can find it. That's literally the same thing. <laughs> so I pulled up the Limoncello Colourpop palette for him to see, so to see what I was talking about. And it's the, literally the same thing. So the other one does have like um, like a true yellow and some more orangey. These, the oranges are a little bit more toned down, but it just, I, that pop of blue is what got me. The pop of blue and the Colourpop thing looks more matte while this the other one looks more shimmery but still it's very similar it's a very similar idea that's no it's the same <laughs> so um oh yes is oh Ooh, candy is, oh jesus salt water taffies oh, um no, never mind that, <laughs> um so there, there's actually one picture where it doesn't look nearly as vibrant as the other picture look how vibrant these colors are yeah and then look at this one yeah, what the hell? Yeah, so what they do they're... companies like to do that. They their pictures won't even look the same. Like picture to picture, one will be like completely different colors than the other one. I think that's probably why I noticed the candy first. Yeah, maybe. But like this makes it look way less look way less interesting. So yeah, here's a parasol is really pretty. It looks really vibrant on here. So yeah, we're looking at the swatch. <laughs> um. So yeah, it's got some pretty some pretty colors, but like for. $44 US. I don't think I'd spend the money on it. I've tried my Vizart Petit Pro Soleil once and I wasn't like a huge fan of like how it turned out. I'd have to play with it some more, I think, but like I don't, I, I would have to like decide if I like the shadows or not first before like investing in more Vizart because they're really, really expensive. This swatch model needs to get their blood pressure checked. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's some veins in there. Definitely, there's some veins. We got some veins. <laughs> and oh, this one's not. This one has no veins. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so this is like this is okay. This is like you know it's cute, but like I don't. I have these. I'm sure I have these colors already. It's a goddamn worm thing with a pop of blue. But again, what upsets me is like if you block out that blue, it looks like such a boring palette. So it's really just that blue that makes it interesting. Where are you putting this? Ooh. On mine, I'm going to put it under... I want to put it under puns because it's son of a beach. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Even though you said it wasn't, I'm going to call it son of a beach. Fair, fair. I don't have a good spot for this. No, it's kind of just... Yeah, just there's nothing like to like, but there's nothing to dislike. I might actually put it under 50 Shades of Neutral. Just because it's literally such a, a warm brown palette until you put that blue in it. So I'm I'm gonna go with that just because of that that blue upsets me. <laughs> so our next product is from Drunk Elephant. I like that company. I figured. It is kind of funny. Yeah. Um just like baby elephants. 
<laughs> I want to see a drunk elephant. Oh, there's. I'm sure there's videos of it online. There ha- No. <laughs> he can't stand up at all. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to help him. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so the name of this company is Drunk Elephant, and they've released um, or they've announced a new product called the Sugared Coffee Almond Mi- Milk Scrub. No. No. Why are you upset about that? That's a grocery list, and they just ended up putting it in a jar. <laughs> So it's a body scrub infused with coffee beans and brown sugar crystals. Um, it's got some oils in there so that it exfoliates the dead skin off your skin. Your, the, the dead skin off of your body is what I meant to say. Uh, so this formula also includes almond milk and an antioxidant rich ingredients such as passion fruit and marula oils. Which is what the fucking marula was what the elephants were getting drunk off. Oh, is that why they put it in there? I have no idea. That's really smart. Um... It does look like a turd, but like that's that's kind of <laughs> so it, it says it's coming soon. So it's a body scrub. I'm not really it's well it, yay, it's a body scrub. It's, it's a coffee scrub for your body. It's a grocery list and a turd all in one. <laughs> Multi use. There there's no price on this um on this post, but I will look to see if there's a price with like that's been release because I need to tell him this. Some people are worried that it's gonna be too rough, but it's if it's if it uses like coffee beans, I feel like coffee beans are often used for body scrubs. So I mean I don't know. And then there's brown sugar, so sugar will melt in in with the water so it, it won't be as rough. But yeah, it's it's a coffee scrub. I I feel like there's much cheaper than this out there. That's ridiculous. So they tend to be quite expensive. So I'm worried that this freaking coffee scrub is also going to be expensive. And I feel like it doesn't need to be. So um, I don't, I don't, I can't say I'm interested in this at all. I'm good. Sounds delicious. (laughs) You probably shouldn't eat it though. (laughs) So I'm going to put this under, I don't have anything for this. On my bingo card, I'm going to put it under, this isn't even makeup. It's food. I thought you already had something for it's not. No, I oh. considered it for oh. the other goopy one that's uh-huh. overpriced. Yeah, it tastes like apples. <laughs> you don't this know one tastes taste. like coffee. Yeah, it's more scent. I don't know if it's gonna taste good though. I would try it. Of course you. Would. So our next product is from Mac Underground. Ooh, a bamboo stick. I. Don't remember exactly what Mac Underground is, but I feel like it's something like they only do a very limited run of a product and you have to be in line for it and because it disappears like this. So here it says there's gonna be only a thousand of these that's gonna get made. I guess it's a cult favorite, so it must be like something they might have um uh discontinued and it's they're bringing it back just for this one run. Squirt bomb is what it's called. That's disgusting. <laughs> Um, Somebody at a marketing room and Mac was like, let's call it the squirt bomb. And a bunch of dudes were like. <laughs> <laughs> so it says that they're taking us back to the cult favorite lip gloss. Say hello to squirt bomb. It's a bomb gloss hybrid with a melting texture. No stickiness with plumping benefits. It looks yellow green in two, but looks like a sheer honey on your lips. And it's lim- uh, limited edition to a thousand pieces. And then. Uh, releases on April 21st. It's a lip balm that you're going to have to stress out about because there's only a thousand of them. So what's the point of this? I'm not sure. Yeah. What if you really like it and then you can never get it again? Yeah. Like, doesn't make sense. I don't know if they have a product that's similar that's always available and it's just like maybe a color or something. I don't know Mac enough to just know that, unfortunately. But uh, I, I'm kind of like... All I know is if you showed this to a panda, he'd definitely eat it because it looks like bamboo. Uh, Yeah, I guess. So anyway, uh, this is kind of stupid to me. Like if it was like, I don't know, like a lipstick or an eyeshadow that was like limited edition, but it was a really cool color or something, like that would make it worth it. This is a fucking lip balm. It's not even going to show up on your lips. 
No one's gonna fucking know what you're wearing. Yeah. Like, Do they charge like an arm and a leg for it? I there's no price, but I and I don't remember how much the past Mac Underground shit was, mm. but there's so I don't know. But like that's really silly to me. Like people are gonna get like in line and freak out because there's only a thousand of them. But when you wear it, you're not even gonna be able to tell what it is. It's gonna be lip balm. It's gonna look like something you just got at the drugstore. Boy. So maybe it is more of a collector item and less something to use. So, like, if somebody was a super huge, like, Mac collector, like, okay. But, again, I still feel like a lip balm is stupid. If it was a really cool lipstick or an eyeshadow or something like that. Or, like, that's the thing. Mac is really known for their lipsticks. So, if it was a, a limited edition lipstick, I feel like it would make more sense. This is a fucking lip balm. <laughs> I'm real upset about this. Michelle, it's not a lip balm. It's a squirt balm. <laughs> so much okay so um so i'm gonna put the squirt bomb <laughs> under is this a sex thing um because who <laughs> let them name it squirt bomb <laughs> who was it mac himself was he like Psh, we're remaking the squirt bomb make a thousand of them and then he left I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, since you're, I was gonna put it under overly sexualized just for that, but I'm, uh, because you put it on your own thing, I'm gonna put mine just under lip balm. Editing Jordan, change that to squirt bombs. <laughs> also, um, bonus points to anyone who can recognize what my shirt represents. So our next product is from Ella Masca, and it's a, it's got a couple product in the collection. So the first one is a color correcting bronzer, and the second one is a hydra lip tint. So hydra tint, hint, a lip tint would be kind of like a little balmy kind of situation, just with a little bit of color. Now what upsets me <laughs> is in the fucking bronzer, there's a blue line. <laughs> That's for the color correcting. I know, but I. <laughs> So this bronzer just has a big old strip of blue in the middle. And I can understand wanting to say that it's color correcting, but I'd be so scared to like put my brush in there and grab too much of the blue and not enough of the brown and just have a stripe of blue. It would just look like a bruise. Yeah, yeah because like it bruise. would it would be a lot of blue with a little bit of brown, it would look like a bruise. Yep. I would be hor I would be terrified to use this. I feel like if I I know, like, if I was to hit pen on this, you would see two pans on the browns and, like, the blue line would be unused because I'd be too scared to use it. So, like, the, the way to do this without, like, a straight up line would have been to have, like, little blue speckles throughout, mm -hmm. which would have made more sense because it would have been easier to blend. But with that big old stripe, I would feel like I would just, like, fuck up and then just have a blue stripe and it would look like a he beat me up or something. Like, it's just, I don't get this. Look at how stupid it looks, too. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. And then the lip tints have a similar idea. What? Why? <laughs> what is, okay, no, but like, what is the orange and green one about? Yeah, so... Like, it, you have orange so, lips and then like a, just a fucking pumpkin stem in the middle? <laughs> so they're they're trying to make it look really visually interesting, but then when you put it on, it's supposed to only be like... Oh! It, so it's supposed to like mix into a color that's like, you know, if tolerable. It, but I'd be, again, worried that it wouldn't, like, blend correctly. It would be too much green or something, and it would just look weird. I think it would probably depend on how you rotate it. Yeah. Like, if you did it, See? yeah, like, if you did it that way, like, this girl. Well, first of all, that looks bad. photoshopped as shit. Yeah. Like, that doesn't look like that's on her lips at all. That looks photoshopped. No, yeah, that's somebody just poorly photoshopped that yeah. on some girl's lips. Yeah, same with that one. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the the lip color itself looks okay, but the fucking like lipstick that's just like sticking yeah, up out just, of the... <laughs> I feel like I could do better with my crap Photoshop skills. Editor Jordan, you have a challenge. <laughs> but like, I feel like if you like tilted it one way, you just have like a racing stripe down your lip. Well, I feel like the ones you like. Like oh, it would, it would... is that what mixes it up? Well, maybe. This one looks like her lips are being vacuumed out of her skull. <laughs> what is that about? So, 
I really like the color of this one. Like the the, the mixed up color. Like I really like that like nude. That's not that but color. It, but the, like to me, I feel like again, no, I would just. This is a girl that held a vacuum cleaner up to her <laughs> lips and then they put the lipstick over top. Like how does this make this? How no, does no. orange and green make that color? I, I, I don't. Like I'm, maybe it does. Maybe if I like tried it, it would work. But like I feel like with my luck, I would just suddenly look green. But then wouldn't you be confused when you're putting it on of like, I'm look going for like this pink look. Let me grab the fucking orange and green one. <laughs> well, I, again, it just makes it visually interesting, but it makes it wearable. But like, I'd be scared that it wouldn't mix well. And then I would just look like I have green lips, which I do have green lipsticks. But if I'm going for a fucking nude and suddenly it's green, I'm going to be upset. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, do they have like the combined color on the packaging? Other oh, than I this? hope so. I hope so. But it doesn't show it. Yeah. Like, how it's just like. And also, that's just straight up black. Yeah. They just darken that red. <laughs> it's just a guessing game. What color your lips turn out to be? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, because you might get more of like one color. And I, I, I mm. no, 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 no. And it's Ilamaska, so the color correcting bronzer is forty five US, and the hydro tint lip tint is twenty six US. The lipsticks are twenty six dollars yes. each. Yes. Not for all of them. No, it's each. Why? Well, I don't like, understand these prices. See, well, that's the thing, right? So it's like if you're you're buying like a full opaque lipstick and it costs a lot of money, that's one thing. Right. When you buy a fucking lip balm <laughs> that doesn't have that much color Skip in it, then it's a no. We're on to we're off. We're not talking about this one anymore. But these are lipsticks, not lip balms. Well, they're lip tints, but lip tints do it's a lip tint. It, it think lip balm but with a little bit of color instead of being like a clear lip balm that you get like lipsticks or fucking oh, chapsticks so or they something. aren't lipsticks then. No, they're lip they're lip tints, so they're like lip balms with some color in it. No, I'm aware. I'm aware it's dumb. I'm upset about this, and that's why Natalie was like mm. <sighs> Yes. She was like, why why the blue stripe? And I was like, I don't know. So, like, I understand what they're trying to say, but to me, it just feel like having it speckled throughout the product would make more sense than having it just a straight up stripe. Like, it's you're you're just gonna put too much blue on your face, you're gonna look like a booze, and then your goddamn lips are gonna be fucking green. <laughs> just looking like you came out of a car accident. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, um, not a fan of this. At all. Where am I putting this on my fucking thing? Well, you you know what? Over the Rainbow was supposed to be for like rainbow palettes and like eyeshadow and shit. But at this point, like this is going to be over the Rainbow because it's got all the goddamn colors. <laughs> like I would have put this one in Crayola Club, but I already checked that one off. So I'm going to put it over the Rainbow, even if it's not what I meant for over. Like I didn't mean for over the Rainbow to mean this. But at this point, it's got every goddamn color of the rainbow in these products, so this is where it's going. I'm going to put this one under Kill Me Now. <laughs> I like it. Great. I love it. I was really hoping we'd get this one because it upsets me to no end. So our next product is from Holo Taco, and I'm a huge fan of Christine, and I'm a huge fan of her nail polish brand as well. So I'm going to revise the shit for this one. So she released a new collection of nail polishes and it's the Pastel Rainbow Collection. Like I really like what she did with this collection. It's pretty, it's sparkly. I like Hall Taco, I like Christine. This is great. They're expensive, but it's indie nail polishes. It This price compares to other indie nail polishes as well. So I can't really say anything about that. <laughs> but see, the problem is, is that it is shipped from the US. So like, you do have the conversion that makes it quite expensive for nail polish in Canadian. And then you have to like, you know, ship it. So it, one day I will make an order on Holo Taco and get some of the stuff that I don't have. But right now I have like the original bundle she came out with, like the first bundle she came out with that I got at Bitcoin. And it's, it has the black and the blue and the, um, the three toppers, the three original toppers. So I don't have any of these like linear like colorful ones at all. I have none of them and I want them. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> yes, yes. Christmas is in forever from now. No, you tried to get me that for Christmas, but you were like, that's too out. expensive. Oh, too. Is that what it was? Yeah, I also mm. said it was way too expensive to get me as much as I wanted. So 
Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I vaguely remember it being like several hundred dollars. Yeah, so I would have probably to like pick one collection or a few different colors mm-hmm. and then go with that. Like probably just get me to the point of free shipping and then that's it. Yeah. So like 150 probably. Like mm-hmm. I don't know how much it is, but it's probably around there somewhere. So I could still get quite a few, but not like everything. Yeah. But definitely if I ever run out of my black, I'm fucking buy another one of those because it's the best black I've ever used. Even the old, like, the old formula because I guess she reformulated it. But even the old formula is great. So I'm excited. I love it. It looks so pretty. I love every single one. Look at them. I dare not say bad things about it. No, because I will For worry. my safety. <laughs> no, but actually, like, what do you think? Um, yeah, no, they're pretty. Uh, These are quite similar. Yeah, there's a few in there that look pretty similar. Like, if you got the purple or the one that looks purpley blue and the blue, like, they're all pretty similar. But, like, I know how much you love the, the hollow sparkles. Mm-hmm. My, my nails are actually hollow right now. You can't tell with these lights, but they're just classic silver hollow. Yeah. With a flaky hollow top on top. <laughs> yes. And I really enjoy also how in her swatch pictures, this time she actually has people with different skin tones. So I really... I think that's smart, actually. That's really smart of her to do. So you can actually see what it looks like on different skin tones and stuff. So, smart. yeah. So I'm a fan. Real pretty. I want it all. Yes. Great. Okay. I am compliant. Great. So, obviously, it's going to go on my nail polish category um, for mm-hmm. my bingo card. What about you? For my bingo card. All your bingo cards negative. So you're going to have to, like, find something positive <laughs> or like glittery or something because it is hollow I'll, I'll put it under stripper glitter Am I, strippers are wonderful people <laughs> <laughs> that's not a negative thing <laughs> okay great <laughs> so our next product is from L'Oreal you know what L'Oreal is right? I know that one oh, no more go. tears shampoo with the little fishes oh, that's right. From like, when I was a kid, I was very insistent that we get those L'Oreal Kids shampoo. Mm, I feel like it made my hair feel like shit. I also feel like it gave me tears. So <laughs> there you go. Well, this isn't the hair product for L'Oreal. It's makeup, obviously. Um, so this is a collaboration between L'Oreal and Ellie Saab. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. It says it's a collaboration between beauty and fashion. So it must be a fashion designer or something. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Inspired by his stylish wedding gowns and haute couture dresses designed to flatter and enhance a feminine silhouette, bringing his feminine aesthetic to this limited edition collection. It includes some glosses, some lipsticks, an eyeshadow palette, and a mascara. Uh, available now in Australia, coming soon to other retailers. Interesting that Australia gets it first. Yeah, I don't know. Good for them. <laughs> you can't get a lot first. So the lipsticks look like some reds and one slightly more nudie red, so, you know. How do you have a nudie red? Well, this one in the middle just looks like it's got some more brown in it. Yeah, I don't know. They all look like bloody lips. Great, okay. And then, uh, okay, why do they look red here and not here? Oh, those are the same thing? I think so. No. Yeah, because the, yeah, because it says gloss and lipstick, and then these are the glosses, and so these are the lipsticks. So th- what? One, one picture makes them look red as fuck, and then one picture makes them look all nudes. Like browns and Those nudes. can't be the same. I'm pretty sure they are. So these are definitely the glosses, because the fucking yeah, the that's, names match. Yeah, yeah. So those are the glosses. So that means those are the lipsticks. Because... Then it's eyeshadow palette and mascara, and that's obviously not that. Must Santel Clash Rose Bang. Well, uh, yeah, so these yeah, are. Those are. What are those? Well, I'm sure they, they must be the same fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll be putting pictures up, but one picture makes them look weird as fuck, and then the other picture makes them look like nudes, and Joe is very upset about it. Very upset about all of it, because I have a space called It's All Brown, but like sometimes they're red. I don't fucking know. And then the glosses look okay. Spice Drama is probably my favorite. Um, the other ones are kind of like whatever, but, but I'm not a gloss person, so I don't care. Mascara just looks like they're regular mascaras, but with a different packaging. Yeah, it just looks like a whatever mascara. I don't know why, but I don't like the eyeshadow palette. 
there's some I feel like like kitchen tiles. I well there's that kind of yeah, and then I feel like it's like okay, so one, two, three shades that are the same. Oh, one lighter God. brown, one darker brown, one like no four shades that look the same because the top row all look the same, and then the bottom right corner looks the same to the top row. And then there's a lighter brown and a darker brown. There's two greens that look very similar, and then a purple in the middle. I feel so validated. Like I don't, I really don't like this eyeshadow palette because um, you said they're the same, and normally you're like, those are not the but, same. But, well, that's the thing. It's like they, they're not, they're, they're not the same, but they're so similar that it's like I'm, I'm confused. So unless it's a trick of the eye where the picture is doing the same thing as the freaking lipsticks, and like it looks better swatched than in, 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 right now in the picture. I'm not. I don't like this collection. And I feel like because they collaborated with like some fancy designer person that's probably expensive. Stereo and like I don't even know what color it is. Well, I mean it's still L'Oreal. I don't think they can go like super expensive, but I could be very wrong. <laughs> um, there's no prices on this post, so I don't know. So the packaging on the eyeshadow palette is really pretty, but everything else is kind of stupid. So on my bingo card, I'm it, I'm not gonna put it under influencer collab because influencer I was thinking more like Instagram and YouTubers and stuff. So I think I'm gonna put it under should I put it under cash grab collab or should I put it under it's all packaging because I feel like the only thing good about this is packaging. Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna put it under cash grab collab because I don't I don't I don't get this. Okay, it's going under cash grab collab. What about you? I don't know. Because the second picture made me think it's all brown. The first picture made me think it's all red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really don't like the editing they did there. This is just like a super boring thing, so I don't I don't have one. Alright, moving on. So Benefit Cosmetics released some new face palettes in parts of Europe, and I'm really hoping they come to Canada because I'm actually really interested in getting one of these. So it's called the Foroscopes. So this is one thing that bothers me about this is it's called Foroscope, and it's mm-hmm. about elements. And I feel like it's there's an element missing, and it, there's the letter, there's the number four, and there's only three goddamn shades. But there's only three palettes. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. What? There's four elements. Don't they know anything about Avatar? Yeah, well, yeah, right? <laughs> like, they could have had it. Air, water, fire. So, yeah, they have earth. earth, air, and fire. They didn't do water? Yeah, but I feel like what water... a bunch of buffoons. <laughs> but, I mean, what would you put in water? Blue! Yeah, well, yeah, but it's a, it's a face palette. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it still bothers me in the fact that, like, I know there's, like, four products in the palette so that's what's called four scope but it's just it's bugging me anyway so um every palette has a different set of um of uh products inside i don't think there's any repeats oh yeah there is a re there's some repeats okay um but there's no water one there is no water one so uh the earth angel one comes with hula georgia honeymoon and cookie the Air Goddess one comes with Dandelion, Solstice, Georgia, and Blaze. And the Fire Queen comes with Hula, Starlet, Solstice, and Blaze. Um, so you definitely don't want to get it all three because you're going to get repeats. But I find this is actually a really good option if you've never tried any face products from Bene- Benefit. Because they do have that like palette they come out that has, like I think, like five products. But I find that five sometimes is a little too much. I, this is like a good mix. It's got a bronzer, some blushes, and a highlighter. Like it's, it, it it's a good mix. And I'm somebody who's never tried Benefit Cosmetics at all, really. So like I would be curious to get one of these just to try out their. their you should formula. get the water one. Oh wait. Oh wait. No, if I was to get one, I'd probably get. Um, I think I might go for Fire Queen. Yas Queen. Yas Queen. But uh, definitely if these come to Canada, I might actually look into how much it is uh, because there's no price here. But if it's like a decent price, I might actually want to grab one of these just to try out the Benefit formula for face products. And you're upset about the... Yeah, the, I'm yeah. upset that you called it Foroscope and released three of them. Yeah. When there was a clear fourth that you could have made. I know, but it's because there's only four products in the palette, but I hate that but, everyone but knows three that, of them. I know everyone knows the four elements. Yeah. And you call it four scope, so you yeah. expect four of them. Yeah. Yeah. I know, that's upsetting. Just just <laughs> 
So on my bingo card, where am I going to put this? I'm actually going to put mine under weird theme, not because necessarily it's weird, but just because there's an, I, I'm upset about the possibilities that have not been reached with this theme. <laughs> I'm going to put this under boring because I'm bored. <laughs> bored about this. This is all just the same colors. They they missed out on an opportunity. Their pun wasn't that good because there's only three of them. And yeah, so it's boring. So I've since changed my bingo card. Now I have one that's called I'm not mad, just disappointed because that's what I am. And it's no longer boring. Our next product is from Dabla. Puff Mags. So there's a new, I don't like that word. So it's called the Skin Realist Beautifying Tinted Balm. Which word do you not like in there? I don't like balms in the context Balm? of foundations. Oh. Like that just upsets me for some reason. I feel like it's putting like the equivalent of just taking the balm and just like putting it all over your face. Mm -hmm. and how like gross and disgusting it would yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, you're saying it's got higher, 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 that word, this word? Hyaluronic? Thank you. What does that mean? Uh, it's a hydrating agent. So it's, it's, it's claiming it's got like ingredients that are good for the skin. Uh, it says it's a hybrid for makeup and skincare, um, blending seamlessly with the skin, evens out complexion, gives a fresh, healthy, lifted, plumper appearance with a radiant and smoothing finish. Now, what is weird is that I think there's only seven shades. Yeah, and they're all brown. So as much as I, I think the spread is like, okay, I feel like seven shades, not a lot. So like, at least it's not like light, 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 medium. And that's it. At mm -hmm. least there is a color that seems like dark. So the spread seems fine, but I feel like seven shades is not enough. Should I at least make 12? At least. Even if it's only like a what? tint. Yeah. Like, I feel like even if it's a tint and it doesn't have a lot of coverage, I feel like seven is just not a lot. Do they sell like a lightener with it? And then that way you can like go one over and then like lighten it up? No. No. So I'm kind of like uninterested in this because first of all, it's called tinted balm and that scares me in my own skin. Um, I usually don't like things with low coverage because I just like more coverage on my skin, you know? So I'm kind of like, whatever about this, but the shade upsets me. Also, it says available to April 21st. So <laughs> on my bingo card, I'm going to put this under the shades, though, because the shades upset me. I don't like there's only seven. The, the spread looks good, but I feel like you could probably just have more. Even if it's low coverage, I feel like it's not enough. I'm going to put this under. It's all brown because you told me it's supposed to be all brown. It is. But I find that boring. All right, fair. I've been told I'm going to be upset again. <laughs> so this is a new collection from Shantikai. Um, it's called Flower Power. It's their mm -hmm. spring 2021 collection. It includes a finishing powder, a um, cheek shade, so a blush, and a lipstick and a travel buff and blur brush. So the compact looks really pretty. It's full, it's covered in flowers and parents like, apparently it's like 3D flowers. So I guess it must like have like texture to it. So. That's cool. Yeah, so like the packaging is super freaking pretty. Why am I upset? Shantika is extremely expensive. Oh. So there's no uh, price here, but I am going to look up some prices just to upset you. So, um, the finishing powder comes in two shades. The cheek shade looks like it's only coming in one and it's just like a kind of regular blush color. I feel like we've seen this a thousand times. The lipstick is looks very orangey. It looks like orangey red kind of thing. And uh, and then the, a brush, which is, I don't, I don't think there's a brush to show here. Why would they include a brush and then not have a picture? Um, so, you know, it looks pretty, it's fine, but the, 
it, it's Shanakai, so I can't see that being like, you know, interesting to me. Like, yes, the packaging is very cute, but like, it's kind of like, you know. so I'm gonna look up something from Shantakai so I can upset Jordan. Oh, actually, I found like the the flower power one. Oh, actually, I, I found it in uh, Canadian, sixty four dollars Canadian for one little thing. Yeah, to put on your butt. No, to put put on your cheeks. It's blush. Yeah, that's what I said. But um, yeah, so it's sixty four bucks. That's insane. Yeah. I don't like it. You would like this one though. Why would I like this one? Is that a mustache? No. <gasps> There's a turtle. <laughs> yeah. And they just have a picture of a cute turtle. So um, these, I think, are meant to... Winston. <laughs> we, we have a tortoise. His name is Winston. He's very cute. Um, so, yeah, I'm showing him the ones that uh, they, I think they give money to um, uh, charities if you buy it. So yeah, this this one's got a okay. Cute. So see, like I wouldn't mind buying this one. Buy that one. Yeah, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't mind buying this one. It's got a really cute imprint. It goes to a good cause, and it's technically less expensive than the other one. It's fifty four Canadian instead of sixty four. Thank you for supporting turtles, but your flower thing is stupid. <laughs> so you know, packaging's cute, but still too expensive for me. I don't even know what the, if the product's good. The blush was like super good or something. That's one thing, but. Still just blush, who yeah. cares? Yeah. So yeah. Like, you know, people get embarrassed on their own. They don't need your help. Shut the guy. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one under it's all packaging because I'm pretty sure all of that price comes from the packaging with all the like overlaid like flowers on top and stuff. I would put it under it as expensive, but I'm not. It's already picked, so I got nothing. Really? Yeah, I got nothing. Wow. Wow, we're doing real bad. I just, just, I thought I'd have the bingo by now. We, yeah, we've been filming for, I, I can usually get these done in less than an hour, and we've been filming for almost two hours, and we still don't have a bingo. I'm going to run out of posts. So this is a collaboration between Hip Dot and Reese's. So it includes quite a few things. So it includes a Reese's white chocolate palette. <gasps> Yum. So it's soft it's neutrals and a pop of orange, and then it has Reese's milk chocolate palette, deep neutrals with a pop of yellow, uh, Reese's scented lip balm. Uh, there's two shades: there's a sheer nude and a sheer brown, and then there's a Reese's double ended brush brush set, and then a Reese's limited edition bag plus full full set. So um, yum, first of all. Mm -hmm. So. First of all, the packaging that it comes in looks really cute because it looks like a wrapping for candy. Oh my god! Yeah, amazing. And so this is the milk chocolate one. And it comes in the little paper. Well, it doesn't come in them, but it looks like the little paper wrappers. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so this is the milk chocolate one. This is the white chocolate one. Oh, I love that they did a white chocolate one. I love the white Reese's. So much. <laughs> I want a whole bag of that. Oh, I know. I know. These are the lipsticks. Yum, those the look delicious. So, um, <laughs> so one of them is called Chocolate Lover and one's called Peanut Butter Lover. Lovers. Yum. Can you mash them together? Mm, I like mean, the Reese's lipstick. I just... mean, that'd be really fun, actually. You should buy them just to do that. Uh, brushes. They also come in that like paper packaging, like stuff. I like it. Uh, and then they come with a full set with a little bag. Oh yeah, look at that. So um, the lip things, the color isn't like amazing, they're lip tints, but like if they smell like chocolate and peanut butter, I'm, I'm down. Um, the brush kind of looks meh. Uh, the eyeshadow palettes, I like the milk chocolate one more. I really like that it's deeper and has that nice bright orange. I find the white chocolate one's kind of boring. Yeah, looking at the individual colors, they're not as good. But like, if you talk about the candy, yeah, I like the candy. Yes, I know you do. We'll go get some after this. So hungry. I know you are. I'm sorry, love. So that's that's the whole collection. I think it's really cute. Um, Hip Dot does a lot of co uh, collaborations with. Uh, they ha have done. I think is it Hip Dot that did one with Kit Kat? No, I think it was a Korean brand that did Kit Kat. Hip Dot's been doing a lot of collaborations just in general, really. Um, but I think this one's really cute. Uh, I don't know about the quality of Hip Dot, but I'd be willing to try just for the how cute it is. 
So, um, yeah, no, that's cute. I'm, I'm a fan. Not too expensive either. Uh, each palette is 16 bucks. The lip balms are... It says 14. I don't know if they come in a set or if they're separate. No, they come in a set. They come in a set. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So 14 bucks for two lip balms. That's not too bad. Uh, and then the brush, is, the brush set is 16. And then everything, if you get everything with the bag, it's 74. So that's not too bad. Um, yeah, no, that's cute. I, I like it. Packaging's cute. I like the paper thing that it comes in. I don't like the milk chocolate one as much, but you know. I like it because I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. <laughs> We've been I feel so- like my reviews have been declining in quality because I'm fading away to nothing. <laughs> We've been filming for like two hours and still don't have a big go. This is not, this is, I didn't think this was going to happen ever with mm-hmm. bagel cards. And we've got two on the go, too. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> so where are we putting this on our bagel cards? No, yeah, because I, I don't think I have anywhere to put mine. Mmm, creamy. No. Um, creamy chocolate <laughs> goodness of Reese's. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have anywhere to put it, so... Too gimmicky? No, because... Uh, no. It's pretty gimmicky. Yeah, but it. I, I've I have seen, no business making makeup. You know, but it, it, I've seen worse. No, I think I, th- I don't think I have a spot for this one on mine. What about you? I'm putting it under food. Yeah, and then I get a bingo. Oh my god! Finally, <laughs> I was actually like, so done. I actually like only had two more things before I was running out of stuff to talk about. And when I look into like the other stuff that I had to talk about, I don't think I had anything to. Put it, I don't think I had anywhere to put it on my card, so I would have just, uh, nothing. What a week. Jesus. I feel like there wasn't a lot of releases, and the releases that did come out weren't like... They suck. Yeah, they weren't great. So, um, I mean, after two hours of filming, and hunger, and him... Bingo! (laughs) So, um, yeah, that's it for this week, I guess. Uh, goddamn two-hour-long filming session to get a bingo off two cards. <laughs> so yeah, so this wasn't this wasn't a good week. Um, I there wasn't much that I was really excited about. Uh, the Toby brush I'm gonna probably try to get because now I'm excited about it, and he's excited about it. It's, it's making me yeah. more excited about it. I like the Toby brush. Yeah, <laughs> everybody wants to be a cat. <laughs> so um, that's really the only thing I can like remember and be excited about the toby and brush and hollow taco thank you for joining me thank you for having me i am sorry that you caught a bad week i'm gonna have him return on weeks where there's actually like interesting stuff or stuff that i know is gonna make him upset because i like making him upset um (laughs) um, so he's not always gonna be here but when he is he'll have his little bingo card and he'll be ready to bitch about stuff Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> so thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe. If you want to see this face again, please subscribe. If you want to see my face again, please subscribe. I don't like doing anything myself. It's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like my help? Nope. That's that's so bad. <laughs> so if you like us being creepy, please subscribe. <laughs> Oh wow, we're like really good. We really need to. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. this is a bit much. <laughs> well, subscribe, like the videos, <laughs> go to the Instagram. Go to <laughs> there's there's an Instagram. There is an Instagram. Good job. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.